Hey guys, Daniel from Live Tech Australia with some hot news. I don't know if it's true, I'm just putting it out there. Um, I was watching CNET, the Apple Bite with Brian Tong, and uh, he was actually talking about the iPod Touch. Yeah, the iPod Touch, not the iPhone for once, the iPod Touch. So, um, what he claims is that he read this website, Pinch Media. Now, Pinch Media is basically an analytics, uh, an analytics service. So basically, you can, for developers who create applications for the iPhone, can um, actually embed this um, pitch media analytics code, I suppose, and so they can track how many people are using it, blah, 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 what, what device they're from, from an iPhone, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch, whatever, first gen, second, third, 3GS, whatever. So apparently, um, according to uh, Brian Tom at CNET and pitch media, they have recorded an, uh, earlier this year about a iPod Touch 3.1. Mm -hmm. Now, the second gen iPod Touch is only very new, so um, I don't think we're going to be seeing this until September if there is anything. Um, but let's see what they said. Earlier this year, we blogged about using pinch analytics to detect iPhone 2.1 usage uh, and user behavior. That was our first glimpse into the iPhone 3GS. Now we've been noticing the iPod 3.1 string appearing in our versions, reporting, signifying that we believe to uh, be a new yet to be released version of the iPod Touch. So here's a little more about what they know about the 3.1 from the data that they've collected through Pinch Analytics. Um, the first time an application using Pinch Analytics was run on an iPod 3.1 device occurred late April 2009. Now we're still in 2009, it's only July. So that wasn't that long ago, April 2009, late April 2009, they recorded the first um, iPod 3.1 being used. Um, applications using pitch analytics were run by iPod 3.1 devices very infrequently and until late 2000, May 2009 when the pace picked up slightly. May, one month after April. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's picking up slightly, which means something is going on at Apple. I don't know if you live there, barge into the office, just ask them. Maybe it's not happening, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it's all here. As of this date, a few dozen distinct iPod 3.1 devices have run around two dozen different applications using pinch analytics. Two dozen different applications. So they're obviously testing it out to see if it's compatible or whatnot. Um, the applications being run on iPod 3.1 devices have been the larger, more popular applications using Pinch Analytics, with hundreds of thousands of millions of unique users. Other than their size, the applications have been uh, little else in com have had little else in common. So, you know, they're just testing out popular apps, um, but that's all they've actually reported um, so far. That's all we know. Um, basically, I also, he, according to uh, Brian Tong at CNET, he reported that there may, may be a camera on the next iPod Touch. Um, this is a wild guess. I am chucking in. I don't know if it's true. I'm just chucking it in. Um, they may actually have, uh, you know how the iPhone 3G and 3GS have like a plastic backing, the black and white plastic backing? Maybe they're going to have that instead of the metal backing. Um, I actually preferred the old backing of that original iPhone, third, uh, first generation actually, but that's just my opinion, um, because it really didn't scratch as much. Um, compared to the uh, iPod Touch first gen, which I still have, so that's pretty good news for me, if there is a new um, iPod Touch third gen coming out, let's zoom in, get that nice little iPod-y feeling, yay iPod iPod. So yeah. Yes. Um, I really hope there's a new iPod Touch coming out. Hear your thoughts. I'm sure this is the first you're hearing about it, so you're probably all just like... But, um, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe CNET's wrong. Maybe we're both wrong. Maybe we're both right. We'll see. So wait till September if that's when it is going to happen. Um, and we'll see what happens. Maybe there, there is not going to be an iPod Touch. Maybe you can just scream at me because I was wrong. But who knows? I might be right. Anyway, this has been Daniel for Live Tech Australia. You heard it here first. Um, try, and find, try and find this video on YouTube right now. I don't think you're going to be able to find a video with this subject on YouTube right now. You might be, but I doubt it. We're the first to report on it.
because I just watched the CNET video. So I thought you'd like to know. Anyway, I'll see you later, guys. Visit us at blog.livetextstream.com. See you later. Bye.